so welcome back guys so in our previous video what we have done <coughs> sorry so far is we are consuming whistle from the whistle path uh, we store URL uh, in our application and then we created all the Java uh, classes and then we have one class called test whistle and then we we created a global weather as a new object and then uh, we are getting the method of get global weather soap uh, from the global weather returning global weather soap and then we have a country name and we are passing country name and we are just trying to see the value of uh, get cities by country by passing country name so how exactly this uh, project work and what we are expecting in the result uh, to see this one we have to go to the soap ui and create a new project um, let me make you clear guys from this uh, uh, whistle path we have to give whistle path here just copy it and then so from this uh, request you will be clear like what exactly we are trying to do so go to the request and then set the country name any any country name like uh, if you create nepal and then see look this these are the re response uh, from the soap request so we are trying to see this re response will come in our uh, java application or not so for that one let's go and pass the country name as nepal or united states any anything uh, let's go and pass United States or just type in Nepal okay and let's run okay look guys in the console we are able to see all the cities of Nepal right so this is the first part which we are trying to do now this uh, in some of the cases we are unable to see the user interface so what we have to do is we have to see uh, uh, the code by step by step by step uh, using debugging right so let's go and debug it's it will open the new perspective uh, then let's see uh, let's go to the next path here okay in the second part we are going to we are able to see that one and so in the third part uh, look the country name uh, we have set our country name to nepal and then uh, in the value let me see what we are getting here in the value we are getting all the result all the cities of nepal right so this is our city's name over here look so we are able to see the result so let's go back here and see what exactly we are trying to get from our code so let's go back so one part of our project is completed but uh, we have another method also here uh, get weather right so we can uh, so we implemented this one right so we can use this one also by passing city name and country name to check the weather so let's do that one also let's go and create one new class mm. so in the class this is for checking weather so check uh, weather all right let's create the main method and finish so let me see here in the soap ui so we are checking this one get weather so what is the request let me go here and set the request by city name is like let's put dallas and uh, united states right s t a t s so in this case let me see the response look it will uh, generate and the response uh, like the weather of dallas is this and this so let's go back to the java code and write our coding part to 
get this value in our Java application. So, let us go and create. So, that is the same process uh, which we have done before like we have to see the service provided by the whistle that is global weather and it is uh, it it have a port uh, it is using global weather soap right. So, let us go back to the code and write the global weather we are creating the class instance of that class and uh, global weather it is global weather ok. I am just trying to make it sim simpler uh, global weather uh, ok. And then we have to get the using that object we are we, we are trying to get the global weather so right. So, uh, global weather soap is here then uh, we are storing this thing in global weather soap and returning global weather soap. Mm -hmm. Okay, that part is completed. Now, in this case GWS from this using this stop we are trying to getting the weather of cities and countries right dot get ok. So, this one we already tested right now we are trying to test this one get weather and city name and country name. So, let us create uh, let me copy this one now and and city name. So, from this way I am just trying to uh, reduce the time ok two argument is pass and for this one we are trying to uh, save uh, in the string uh, right in the value will be string and we are good now trying to print the result and ok done. Now, let us go and run this project. So, run as Java application ok we do not get panic we have to set our configuration here and so, we have two values right city is Dallas from uh, we already know like uh, if we put Dallas as a city name and country as United States, then it will give this result. So, let us go back and run. Oh my goodness, data not found. <coughs> Make it clean, just clean the project first. Sometimes it will show uh, this kind of problem, but that is not a big issue just try to clean the project and then uh, try to run one more time or you can uh, see using uh, debugging also. So, check whether uh, let us try a ok Dallas and United States it will work because we have Dallas and United States and it is showing the result right. So, uh, ok let us debug it because let us let us see either our value is uh, coming or not. So, that will be a great practice for us right. Uh, sorry sorry debug on server no we have to debug on let us see. So, value is passing or not it that it will be a great practice for us guys. Mm -hmm. Ok, ok now I got it uh, we have to set this one in alternative way. So, look in uh, that part is completed, but look if we go to the value let me see ok value data not found right. So, we are not getting the city name here ok city name is United States that is wrong right. So, city name should go here and country name should go down. So, that is the issue 
So, we fixed our issue. So, let us go back to the code and then uh, do fast. All right. So, what we have to do is we have to copy this thing uh, here, right? And the country name is over here, right? Okay. Now run this application as okay. So now we are able to fix the issue also, right? According to the project, that is how we can go step uh, by step. Okay, look. Uh, now we are able to see uh, the weather and the country uh, country name. Okay, so like this, we are we can fix our issue in Java application. So thank you, thank you guys, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my video. And if you have any issue, then just uh, don't forget to email me. Uh, thank you guys. Thank you.